Hey guys, it's Mo. So I have another Cricut Design Space kind of tutorial for you today. I get a lot, or I get asked a lot, how do I print my shop logo or a logo or blog logo or any logo on um, my sticker sheets that I make and not have Cricut cut it out? Um, and the answer is, it's a multi-step process. Um, unfortunately, with Cricut Design Space, anything that you upload to Design Space and print on the same canvas, the Cricut Explorer is going to cut it out. Um, I have found a workaround sort of for this, and I actually don't find it to be too um, cumbersome. If you are always designing your printables or your stickers to be a certain size so you're always making them let's say that five and a half by eight inch it's a five and a half by eight yeah five and a half by eight inch print and cut area for example that is in chrome um then you what you can do is you can design this print print all your stickers print your logo on them and then cut them it's not going to disrupt that sort of um layout if you're always doing the same thing this is always going to work for you so um, what I have right here is a canvas with a really old tutorial that I made on it uh, these are how to make icon stickers I believe in um, or like icon label stickers in Cricut Design Space I will leave that tutorial link down below but if you've also designed something in Inkscape or let's say like Adobe Illustrator or Photoshop or something that is how you normally would design stickers and you've uploaded it to your canvas you can also do this tutorial so um, because anything that you upload to Design Space is going to cut, you're always going to have your shop logo cut out if you're trying to add it to the same canvas here. So what I have is I have an image that is the print and cut area for Chrome, five and a half by eight. Everything I make is five and a half by eight. So if I make everything five and a half by eight, then this, this, um, logo printing thing is always going to work and I can just print a whole bunch and print my logo on them as well and then go ahead and cut it. So we have our stickers that we are going to cut right now. We're not going to cut them, but you know what I mean. This is the canvas that we're going to work for or work with. What you can do is you select go. And like I said, this is going to work for anything. So we select go. We see that it is laid out on our canvas. We select go or on our mat, select go again. What you're going to want to have installed is a PDF printer. What I have is Cute PDF, and I've just downloaded it and installed it. It works like a printer. So when it says my Cricut is not turned on, when it says print page, you select print page. I always print from system dialog. That's just my preference. And once you've installed Cute PDF Writer, it's gonna act as a printer. So you select that and you select print. What it is doing is printing to that PDF. So it's taking this thing this document and saving it as a pdf so i'm going to i've already tried it out here i'm going to label this popcorn uh yeah it doesn't matter what i label it actually because we're never going to do this again popcorn icons great you also want to go to pdf to png.com to convert your pdf so here i have my pdf popcorn icons again that doesn't really matter what it's labeled drag it over and drop it into this gray box here it's going to upload it convert it into a png and now you're going to download it since i'm working with chrome it downloads to my little bottom bar here it'll also probably be in my um, downloads somewhere so popcorn icon zip i'm going to extract all files extract and it's going to open this up you also want to work with a uh, a text editor or something that you can print from. What I am going to work with is Open Office Draw. So let's go back over here. We're going to open another tab. Open Office. This is another. I'm all about free programs, you guys. If if there's one thing that you learn for, that you need to learn from my channel, it is free, free 99. Softwares that are frizzle, faux shizzle, free 99. And all of these are, you know, pretty good things. It's not going to, um, I haven't had any problems with anything like corrupting my computer 
or anything it you know it's fine so you just download apache open office what you're going to get is an open office or you're going to get an office suite so even if you have microsoft word you can do a similar thing to this if you have microsoft publisher which i believe is sort of an equivalent to open office draw um you know you're going to be able to do this the same sort of thing so download open office let's see i think we click on this is this opens a download yeah um, download full installation. You, you just, you just want to download it. Um, if you're having problems with it, I would Google like troubleshooting things like how to download open office or, you know, something like that. So you can find it. So what I do is I just go and I find my, let's see here. I have it saved here. Let's see if we can go to all programs and open office and I open an open office draw template here. I already had one open. So what this brings up is something similar. If you've ever worked with Microsoft Publisher, uh, this is going to be something something similar to it. So if you have a word processor, you can do something like this as well. So we have this um, PDF here. Is this the PNG? Yes. So we downloaded it. We converted that PDF to a PNG file. We've downloaded the PNG file, and now we want to drag it into OpenOffice or whatever text editor, or um, you can even do this in Inkscape. You can do it in Inkscape um, or, you know, Microsoft Publisher, Microsoft Word, something like that. So the style for doing this is going to be kind of the same. Um, you know, you're not, it may not be exactly the same, but it's going to be something very similar. So mainly you just want to change the width and the height so that everything is eight and a half by 11 because you know that's your, um, this PDF was saved as an eight and a half by 11 because your printer is gonna print on an eight and a half by 11, um, something like that. So for open office, I just right click and go to alignment, centered, alignment, centered. However, your program has you center this to the page. You can also do this in Inkscape. It might be a little bit easier. Um, so now you can insert a text box. Let me see here how I do this text text box so we can type in and if you have a logo um, that's a PNG file you can add that in here as well so then in this little box you would just type in your I don't know name of your shop whatever, whatever your shop name is, whatever you're trying, obviously you can design this a little bit better, um, make it a little bit more professional. I don't know. I'm just trying to show you how to do this quickly. So then you can sort of eyeball where you want that to be on your sticker sheet. So in general, these guys are going to get cut out around here and you're going to hand cut it around this like this so if you want to include your logo you want to make sure it's included on the sheet somewhere nicely so let's say you've just done that yeah you don't like that we'll nudge it over a little bit see if it's in the in the center or whatnot what we can do is like i said you can put a png image of maybe a logo that you have so let's see here um, i have made this logo right here so i'm just going to drag and drop that over there coffee cup prints. Honestly, I don't know if I spoke that correctly. I'm just doing this super quickly. So size this the way you want, not like that. Um, let's see here. If we hold down the shift key, that's going to size it properly here. And just locate it on your sticker sheet. This logo might be a little bit too big. I don't know where, where you want it. So then we'll delete this. So then <clears throat> what you can do, I think I'm going to move this down a little bit, is delete this, delete. We're going to go file, save as, um, Google Drive. Save it wherever you want to save it. I am saving it in my test folder here. Um, we can save this as like logo um, template. 
And you can say this is a PDF. Uh, you can use that same print to PDF thing, or you can just always open this. So then what we want to do is we'll go back to our Cricut Design Space. <laughs> I designed that logo really, really quickly. We'll go back to print page. And what you're going to do is print using system dialog. We're going to go to HP PhotoSmart. That's my printer. Um, I always go to preferences and I have this um, um, default here for how I like my print, my stickers to be printed. I'm going to select OK and we're going to print it. And I think I'm going to uh, switch camera angles here. So give me one second. Y'all want to know what real life is like? It's leggings and Ariel socks. So <laughs> I have you down here on my printer. This is an HP PhotoSmart. I got it in uh, like 2011. And so, I mean, it's been cranking stickers out for me ever since. So I have my sticker paper in here. Um, you know, the other day I printed all these things on the wrong side and cut them on the wrong side of the sticker paper. So I have my sticker paper in here. Um, what we're going to do is go to print page. I think I already went through this, um, but then I have it set up. And I always do print using system dialog like I said preferences best for stickers okay and then I'm gonna print and what I've done my print settings are um, to have the ink um, this was a test print here to have the ink I don't know what to say like I, I increased the ink volume I also increased the quality I set it to best I, um, you know, did all these things and did a lot of test prints to find out exactly what I really liked um, and printed the best quality for me. I'm hoping this is, this camera is okay and that you can see this. Um, I can't really tell the brightness. I tried to put on another light so you could see. Um, let us see here. So this is just going to print. Um, you like my floral leggings. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this guy, we're going to take this guy and we're going to send him back through the printer. This time we're going to go to our template that we created and we're going to go file, print, um, properties again. I'm going to do best for stickers. Okay. Print. And what we're doing is we're creating two layers. So the Cricut only knows what's within the print area. The Cricut only knows what's within these registration marks here. The Cricut only knows what's within the registration marks. So that's all the Cricut is going to cut. If we put our logo here at the bottom, once this is done cutting this out, we can then use our paper trimmer to trim all of this off. And then you will have, you know, your fully cut sticker. So I'll go ahead and do that. I'm not going to cut it because I feel like that's kind of unnecessary. But let's pretend that we ran this through our Cricut. It scanned our registration marks. It cut out all our boxes here. You don't have to use the bleed. Personally, I use the bleed on my Cricut because I find it aligns and cuts better. And so it's cut it. It's kiss cut everything. And it sent it back out to us and it said, I'm done. So now we're going to take it and use our trusty paper trimmer and trim it up. I'm going to do this off camera because I'm kind of working on my um, my little pull-out cart here, which this little cart is from um, Walmart, and it's a TV, a rolling TV cart, and I have two of them. One of them holds my silhouette and my printer and a bunch of other laminating sheets and, like, crap, my cinch is under there. Um, and then the other one is on the other side of my desk, and it holds my... Cricut and some uh, storage containers with my sticker paper in it and they just roll. So at one point I would roll them over before I got my big uh, desktop computer. I would roll them over to the, um, the couch and I would sit with my laptop on the couch. So now we've cut it out and we have our logo on the bottom. Obviously you can make it smaller, you can make it take up more room, you can design it however you want so that it fits in that little bottom area there. And so 
you just you just do that. So if you always design the let's go full screen here, I think if you always design the sticker sheets to be eight and a half or I'm sorry, eight by five and a half, then you're always going to be able to use that template because they're always going to fit in that same area. So I hope that makes a little bit of sense here on, you know, how to make a template. Again, just import your logo, do the same sort of thing in any kind of word processing program that you have. You can get it pretty close. And if it takes a little bit of test prints, you know, that's fine. That's a sacrifice. A lot of things you have to do to get things to be perfect is practice. So then you just save this, and the next time I make something that's eight by five, I'll print it. It will fit within this area here, and it'll print my logo on the bottom, and it's gonna cut everything. So I could print 15 of these popcorns, send all 15 of them back to the printer, print the logo on them, then send all 15 of them through my Cricut, and it's, it's gonna be pretty, pretty helpful. So, yeah, I hope you found this video informative and helpful and you can see how you can get your Cricut to do, you know, I if you have this machine, you can make it do what you want it to do. It's not, there may be some workarounds, but if you get proficient in it, you know, you're going to be satisfied with your machine. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Thumbs up for leggings and aerial socks. Thumbs up for that, I think. Um, go ahead and leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about this video. If you have any tips or tricks or, I don't know, um, things you'd like to share, let me know what videos you'd like to see and I will talk to you on my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.